like when you're melting your toppings, you don't want you want it to come to like a rolling boil, but not a hard boil, because it actually um, compromises your wax to let it boil. So once you see it's melted, then you pour the other part of it in there. Within, I'd say two hours, the whole thing is melted. So you end up with, um, and then at that point, I'll just shut the burner off and let it set for maybe 30 minutes or so. And all the slum gum and the waste of whatever's in the mac will settle to the bottom of the water. And there might be a little bit on the top. I just kind of skim it off with a calendar or strainer or something. And then I just start take bucketing it through this. This is some kind of device we got for something somewhere along the way <laughs> for cleaning wax. You gotta and give it a good it name. Cleaning, I mean, cleaning honey. Mm -hmm. We just clean wax. So it just, I just bucket wow. it through the nylon, fill up these tubs, and end up with black wax. The next day, the food <laughs> usually doesn't have anything in it because right off the top you'll get really clean wax. So I say the garbage can ended up with about 70 pounds of wax. So you'll get like five or six really nice blocks, 15 pounds each, and then you'll start getting, as you keep scooping, you'll kind of start seeing the honey water coming through and the slum gum floating on the top. And I'll just run that through that anyway, like three or four more. And at the end, when you, the next day when you go to dump it out, hi Michelle, <laughs> you've got to dump it out, that'll just come out. It just comes off and you got a little bit of slum gum on the box, black box, on the bottom of the box, and you just scrape it off, it's all fine.